One of the many noble goals I have on this channel is to take all the painting knowledge I have obtained over the years substantial and pack it onto a spoon and shove it in your face hole. Now I could easily be on my own way and paint the amazing paintings that come so naturally to me. But being the humble and caring entity that I am, I wish to bring all of you with me so that together we may bask in the glory that is my genius. How do we accomplish such a feat? Well, my human creatures, it won't be easy for you, but fortunately you have me, Louis Cadetti. And I'm here once again to inspire your ass to levels of unspeakable greatness. But one cannot be great without being me productive. Now it is my intention to infuse your mortal forms with little doses of genius in the form of short and to the point tips on being a better painter and frankly, being a better person in general. So it is with great pleasure that I introduce to you this, the first episode of Genius Painter Power Tips, episode one, productivity. As in all things on this channel, this knowledge can be applied to anything in life, not just painting. And this is just a fraction of what I have in store for your ass. But for the sake of absorption, I will mention for now only three important strategies I employ daily to be productive. Let us begin. Number one, take five minutes in silence the night before to clear your head and think about what accomplishment in your work the next day will make you feel good by the end of that day and proceed to plan out how you'll accomplish that. If you really pay attention and think about your work, you will find that you have a desire to finish some aspect of it. Listen to that feeling and go from there. This might be a section of intricate drapery that you've been avoiding painting or an object or two that you wish to have completed. It might simply be starting a drawing when you have been putting it off. Resolve to get it done, then proceed to plan out technically what it will take to accomplish your goal and in this manner, you will have a clear direction the next day beforehand when you go to work. Number two, when you work, convince yourself that your goal will be completed within the next few hours and get excited about that. It's a mentality that I want you to practice. Think about how you will feel later when you can relax knowing that you accomplished your goal and let that feeling drive you in your work. Through this type of practice, you can train yourself to work longer and more enthusiastically. Number three, do not stop working. Every day you must aim to hold a stride in your work. This again will take practice but will become easier with consistency. Distraction will always come. I would recommend writing out a list beforehand of what will pull you away from your work and resolve not to fall into those traps. This will make your time spent more efficient and you won't need to force yourself to work long hours because you have accomplished more in a shorter amount of time. Now I understand this can be hard, which is why I'm leaving you with a final bonus tip. That is probably the most important one. And that is, don't be a put 